time shooting with this new cell phone for the expansion pack. I'm here with Ant-Man again. Bro, every time I feel like I'm with you, you're always like way over there. You afraid to stand by me or what, bro? I don't have Never. Please. Never that. I just have COVID. Oh. Cool. All right, expansion pack time. See if there's anything here. Look at all these Atari paddles right here. Oh, this is Atari paddles. That's actually sick, that Barney right there. The uh, I used to love the way this controller looked. I always liked the way it looked. Is this a little uh, Superman right here? Yeah, wow, this is heavy. Would you feel this? Look at this comic. Why is that so heavy? This is sick too, Anthony. Old X-Files one. Cinefantastic. Ooh. Oh, I loved that show. PS3 headset. So yeah, this place actually has quite a bit of random accessories. I'm not opposed to getting this. But this is for the Genesis right here. The Super Pad by Performance. I don't think I have this one yet. And you know me, always looking for the weird, uh, so, ooh. PSP Jarhead sealed. Yeah, well at least we finally saw something. Ooh, Let's see what's in here. Ready, ready, ready? <gasps> oh, it is, like I said. Anthony's just looking through some old pictures and he found the first found photo of the Tiger King. That ain't even true. Hey. <laughs> Look at this. Dang, that was my senior picture. Oh my gosh, what, that? what a savage picture. Yo, there were some ballers. The best traveling life in history here. this a tandy cassette recorder computer recorder man this thing is heavy hey feel how heavy this is anthony this cassette recorder crazy huh Heck yeah. you a voicemail <laughs> <laughs> you got mail so just picking up some little trinkets here and there so far but nothing too crazy yet last time i was here when, it, when we did the vhs episode we found a lot of good stuff so Maybe we picked it dry, but we're still having fun out here. Anthony's on the phone over there somewhere. Oh, there he is. He's coming. Look at this VHS. Oh, shoot. I don't have this. This would be a good one. How are we doing, Hal? Five bucks, she said, for this. How about these McDonald's cups? Five each? These are pretty cool. They have some cool ones. Garfield. I like the Olympics ones though, even more, to be honest. All right, I picked up the Beatles' first US visit, which is 1964 when they came down and Beatlemania was going crazy when the Beatles came down. This is right before they performed uh, on the Ed Sullivan show. I think they performed like within 48 hours of the time they landed and it completely blew the minds of Americans when they came down. Super awesome to have this VHS and Beatles, two of my biggest loves. And Anthony, thank you. Only on the <laughs> well, ladies and gentlemen. Hey Loki, this is kind of sick. I know, that's what I was gonna say. This, this old Pokemon game. bag, Game Boy Color, Game Boy Advance. Gremlins too, that's actually sick. Zelda right here, Mario and Donkey Kong. PSP. Wow. About to start asking him uh, the prices on all this. This is such a sick game, dude. Oh yeah, I love that one. So good. Couple games in the corner. Nothing needed. All right, so Anthony, how much did he want for some of those games? What was kind of his going rate? He started off Zelda with seventy-five dollars, and then said, "But I'll leave it for fifty." Bruh. And then he said, "The bag that Pokemon bag." He said 40. I was like, this thing is torn up. At least for a guy like me, the silliest prices I have heard in a very long time. No way. No way. How much is this little book? Three bucks? Natural habitat. <laughs> <laughs> Warriors. 
come out. And All right, next find that I am actually pretty dang stoked about is this 1993 Super Mario Bros. official motion picture sticker album. When I saw this, I didn't know what it was. Obviously, I know what this cover is, but I was like, what the heck? i never seen that before. And then I quickly realized, yes, it is a sticker book. It has a bunch of cool pictures in here. The stickers are all pretty much used in that, but still, either way, this is the kind of stuff you don't find, you don't see. It's just not lying around. It's, I don't even, maybe it's on eBay, I don't know. But it's the kind of stuff that I think is just super cool to have inside of my collection on the back wall. What do you think, Anthony? Pretty cool, you're yeah, fine. You can say it sucks, bro. It sucks. That movie sucked too. That's true, I can't argue <laughs> that. All right, next thing I bought, I'm buying things quick. I actually told Ant-Man on the way in, right Anthony, that I was looking for one of these? Yeah, it's crazy, you got it. I got one of these, it's for, I already have one, but I always want to get upgrades on any sort of stuff. And again, using a new phone, I left mine in Southeast Game Exchange. I'm not getting it back for like a couple weeks, but this is Joby. And if you uh, are doing anything like this, handheld vlogs, anything like that, Joby is one of the more trusted brands. So I got this both for 15 bucks. It's a really good one. They can bend, you use them as a tripod. You can bend these so much that you can actually tie them around like poles and stuff and use them. So I'm now gonna put my phone in this because I don't like holding my brand new phone in my bare hands. I, I wanna I want to secure it in something. Nice, look at that. Like film while you're biking? Filming on the go. Nice, yes. Yeah. Give me it back. Uh. <laughs> He took my step! Shoplifter! Shoplifter! <gasps> FC Twin controller lying around. You ever seen those, Anthony? It's an old bootleg console right there. See those? These back in the day? Never. This was before something like, I think before like the Retron 5 came out. Basically, you know, it's a new console, but you can play, it looks like on this one is Nintendo and Super Nintendo, I'm guessing? So, you know, if you don't want to pay for the real thing, you know the bootleg stuff, bro. Bootleg is where it's at. Bootleg Mikey Hero. Mikey, Mikey and his bootleg <laughs> channel. What's up, everyone? Welcome back to Bootleg Heroes. You need these, bro? Maybe, actually. More retro tech. I've been telling Anthony, don't sleep on retro tech. Oh, that's the kind of stuff that's coming up right now. I'm telling you guys. I feel like this is going to blow up. I think those actually sell for decent. I'm serious. So, just letting you know. Bro, come on, honestly. You are slipping if you don't buy this. This is Sparta! Look at those breastplates. Yo, Anthony. That's pretty sick, to be honest. Yeah, Gladiator, bro. Or Troy, maybe? Obama! Old skateboard. Oh, World Industries. <laughs> you won't like me when I'm angry. Oh wait, that's the Hulk. <laughs> Whatever, I look like him, right? Yeah, yeah. Right? Like him? <laughs> Retro tech! <laughs> Some fire VHS tapes right here. Turtles 2. Ooh, this Taz one is a beautiful box, actually. Taz Astronaut. Oh, Taz Astronaut. Uh, uh, uh. This Doug one's pretty cool, too. The box is more beat up but I'll have to check in on this, uh, this Taz one right here. Wow, is this an OG light bright? That is sick. I haven't seen an OG one in a long time. I don't want to mess up everything. What's this? Oh, Holly Hobby. I remember those two. I know I saw it. I love the style of this right here. I don't think this is obviously from when the Wizard of Oz came out, but yeah. still, super dope, bro. Hey, that's you, bro, the girl next door. Oh. Yeah? I thought you were gonna say Iron Man. <laughs> no, definitely I'm not. Broken. Sorry. <laughs> uh -oh. Here we go. Here we go. Right there. We're gonna remain cool and act like we don't care. How much are these guys right here? All right, so they weren't that bad of price. They're probably a little bit less than retail, but Anthony's been looking for one for his girl, Val. Shout out to Val. Val, <laughs> Val. <laughs> but uh, yeah, we didn't want to pay that. You know, we're all about the cheap. I hate you. Yo quiero Taco Bell. Tamagotchi mini keepers. Still in the box. Super cool. Love the box for this. Wow, that was sketch. Toys R Us little branding on there. Making it cooler. Sticker makes it sicker. Look at all these loose pods right here. Just tons of pods. All the shimmer and shine coming off them. Oh, when you were a kid, that just made them so much, so much cooler. Dang. Why you gotta put this in front of me like that? Wow, Urkel in the box. I have Urkel loose, but I don't have the box. Look at that box. Fun fact, I watched all 216 episodes of Family Matters during 
quarantine or during COVID. He gave. Oh, JP cards. Your favorite. Movie. Wow, dude, best movie of all time, right there. I wish I had like better places to put cards. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like I like cards. I love cards, to be honest. But I, I can collect them if they're like this, like inside of a, a bag, you know, and I can keep them like that. But otherwise, loose. Then you don't know what's inside. I know. I know. I remember when I first saw Dark Crystal as a kid, just along the lines with Labyrinth, like I've said, just being blown away by the visuals. I know this is a newer board game right here, but in general, man, Dark Crystal is just such a cool. You ever seen this, Dark Crystal? No. Really oh, cool. I've seen memes of it. You've Labyrinth. seen memes? Yeah. Classic young generation. <laughs> no, but I've seen the memes. <laughs> so me and him talked a bit, and I think I'm gonna meet with him to do some sort of trades or something. He was saying that he's willing to do trades for stuff that he doesn't necessarily just only take cash. So for that Urkel, I think I'm gonna do that because it was only 40 bucks, which in the box is not bad at all. And I would definitely love to have that. So yeah, I was just thinking, I was just thinking about the swap meet. And if you really think about it, we knew this our whole lives, right? Going to swap meets, you too. Mm -hmm. But like, isn't it just such a weird thing? Like thousands of people show up a lot of people yeah nowadays are selling like stuff but a lot of people genuinely are just bringing like junk and random things like that they don't care about like this you know and it's like hey you want this i'll give you money for this it's just a weird concept this is actually a cool one too actually i'll be honest this is probably one of those christmas I movies see. whoa hey hey take it easy mickey this once upon a christmas anthony Genuinely one of my most like tearjerker Christmas movies right here, bro, for me. Merry Christmas, Minnie. Do you cry in Christmas movies? No. Oh, look at me. I'm a tough Elf, guy. maybe. Wow. <laughs> that was weird. Showed it last time, but I got to show it again. I love me some signs. American pickers have been getting to me. More vintage signs, though, as I said. But still some really cool ones. If I had to pick one right now real quick, let's do a quick overscan. I'd probably go one of these gasoline ones, even though I'm not into like the pinup girl. Oh, just kidding. I picked that one. I lied. That one right there. Oh, that's sexy. That Pepsi one. I love it. The, the internet loves you. <laughs> Dang. Sorry it's windy, but Anthony's back at his spot. I feel like this is the only place he buys anything nowadays, bro. He just comes to you. For real. How's everything going? Dang. Doing good. Just got back from a game expo in South Carolina. All right, well, Anthony's working on his addiction. I'm gonna go check out over here. This guy sometimes has some cool stuff too, so. Oh yeah, a lot of Pokemon cards too over there too, which I'm gonna it, but. Oh, NES game? Yeah! Oh, Star Wars too. Don't know much about Hot Wheels at all, but there was a haul a while back that I showed you guys where I got some Hot Wheels and, uh, bought the whole box for like five bucks and flipped them really quick for about a 200 bucks I think I did something like that all right time to check on this guy again all right Anthony tell us what happened bro from your local dealer just as I expected <laughs> got two cards actually the one I wanted but in English this is in Japanese Typhlosion Typhlosion I've heard you say that word like a thousand times and I know nothing about Pokemon and then a dark Version of Dark Typhlosion, is that his name? Yeah. Really? Hey, bro, flexing over here. He just said this one. Can I guess their names? 700. What's his name? Is that Guppy or something? Pikachu with uh, Japanese Matt. did a special release where uh, it came out in a similar box like this, just elongated, and uh, it came with uh, a, a normal version and a full art. Dang, <laughs> the more you much. know. There is a Mario and a Luigi one. Oh, <gasps> yeah. Ant-Man scoring with some pokies, bro. Hey, you're, yeah. that's, where, that's where you are. Bro. You're the pokey right. man, straight up. Right. Show I'm us what you got. Man. I know it's loud with that, but just real quick. So I got this dark type lotion, and then this one is very nostalgic. And it has a, they, so a lot of them, they have swirls, and those go for a little bit more just because they have a little, little, little more artwork to them. Yeah. Hey, but that's like gaming too. A lot of times when you collect stuff and it has like variants as far as like art design or box design or whatever, yeah. they can go for more. Yeah.
<laughs> oh, uh, I can't turn off my camera now. That's it. We're calling it. Fun little short trip at the swap. We'll see what happens next in the video. I don't even know. Probably some Southeast game exchange footage that I never used. I think they're wrong 100%. All right, Anthony, say bye-bye. Adiosi. Wow. I said say goodbye, not adiosi. Okay, a while back, yes, I'm in my pajamas. It's first thing in the morning. A long time ago, I was given this, and the company was like, hey, wait up. I, they saw my little video that I posted of me opening this with no plans of doing anything with it. And they were like, hey, wait, we're gonna send you a micro SD card to make it better. Because apparently, I guess there was some YouTubers who said that it wasn't so great for what reason or some reason or not. But I've been poking around with it. And yeah, it's it, this part of it's basic. When you turn it on, I mean, as you can see, it's very like, you know, Chinese bootleg, so to say. But it has, you know, apps involved with it. Almost like it's like a, uh, some sort of like a, like a tablet or something. It's basically a big old tablet, but with this. But all that matters to me, honestly, yeah, there's a million different reasons to play applications. Sure, if you want to watch YouTube on this or Netflix or Amazon Prime, you can. But for me, what's most important is the arcade. So I go to Retro Arcade. I have played around with it, but not since I put in the new SD card. Wow, hopefully this SD card loads up. The new SD card. Might have to put the old one back here. Spaghetti All right, new SD or old SD card is back in there. Let's hope that works and we'll at least just test it out to let you guys know what I think of the way it plays. Put the old SD card back in and there we go. I just used the original SD card. So something, maybe I have to set up the new SD card or something, but this is in here now and uh, let me kind of poke around at it and I'll show you guys a little bit. Okay, so again, there's all different stuff inside of here again. I'm not getting paid for anything for this. So I got there's no skin off my back. What I think. you can scroll through a lot of games. I'd say there's like maybe 470 games loaded up. They have different categories at the bottom. If you look, you can see there's winner, which whatever that is, aircraft, motion. I, they're kind of titled funky, the way they're titled. But you know, you can just go to anything and basically scroll through. Let's just try this one. There's Alien versus Predator because I do like this. What do we got to do? And I'll say that like. 90% of the games work really well, and then some were somewhat laggy or whatnot. Again, that could just be emulation because even on some of my retro pie stuff, like Bucky O'Hare seems to never work past like level four. Oh, there we go. Putting in my quarters, look at this. Select your character, always be I mean, Mr. Schaefer or the Predator. Okay, we got hit, we got that. Before I say anything else, I go basic in these. I don't give you any crazy specs or whatnot. I just say a basic gamer playing this kind of stuff, we like it, is it cool, whatnot, that's it. And if you look up at the TV, yeah, the emulation seems totally fine on this one. This is one of the ones, oh, actually this one's a little slower. I don't, I don't know, I can't tell, to be honest, if that's just, I probably should have tried this game out before. Let me try another one just to get an idea. Again, this isn't bad by any means. Just wanna be 100% clear with what I'm thinking. Nothing like playing a, a Street Fighter game on her arcade stick. Uh, but let me speak to the stick itself. I'd say it's above what most companies are as far as these less popular, less mainstream brands that send out this kind of stuff. The actual stick is more clicky than normal. The buttons are more clicky than normal. And this is more heavy than normal for sure. I'm probably not playing it the ideal way. Also, you can break these apart and put them into each one and have like two separate sticks, which I actually think is really cool. I did that a few weeks ago. Give it a quick test. So Street Fighter Third Strike feels great to me. This one feels great to me. This is probably the Street Fighter game that I'm the least good at. But it feels good. All of the moves are easily accessible. And one thing I will, I don't do, I don't talk, to, I don't even look at the price of what these, they sell these things for because I never want to be responsible for telling you to buy something or not. That's between you and your brain when you Check it out. Is this cool? Yeah, totally cool. Does it have its flaws? Yeah, it totally does. But I'd say I've played maybe like four different types of arcade stick things like this. And I'd say as far as the control deck itself, above average. As far as the gameplay goes, about average. All right, that's it. There's your minute with the real.